We get it, you're driven. With 449 horsepower and 516 pounds to foot of torque routed to all four wheels through a 9-speed automatic transmission, Mercedes Twin Turbo 4.7 liter V8 flings the S550's 5189 pounds to 60 miles per hour in 5 seconds flat. The quarter mile takes just 13.5 seconds at 109 miles per hour, while the governor steps in at 131 miles per hour admirably, the 4.7 liter balances speed with efficiency. We saw an average of 18 miles per gallon, with a couple of tanks on the highway approaching 21 miles per gallon despite our interminable game of how fast can we go before the passengers notice. When they did, the brakes restored order promptly. The Mybox 157 foot stop from 70 miles per hour is only 4 feet longer than was needed by the last Audi R8 we tested. Those numbers are a lot more enjoyable from the driver's seat than from any of the passenger seats. And in the lottery fantasy, most of us are buying an S-Class intending to drive it ourselves. But even if we intend to be driven instead, there's still an S-Class on that list. There are an extra 7.9 inches in the wheelbase, all of them allotted to the rear, where our 99th percentile test dummy could comfortably cross his legs in what Mercedes claims is the quietest car interior on the market. Our standard test measures noise levels in the front seat, where our meter recorded 70 decibels under full throttle and 63 at a 70 mile per hour cruise, both among the lowest values we've seen, like a Rolls Royce. The Maybach positions the rear seats so that the C-pillar blocks prying eyes from seeing who's sitting there, particularly when those passengers lean back into the pillows fitted to the rear seat headrests, which are so soft that we couldn't help.